Welcome. Let's solve for x with the quadratic formula again. And we have a being 1 again, b is 8, and c is 12. All right, so let's plug all these guys into the formula. So let's, car let's get started with negative b, so negative 8. Always nice to have everything in brackets, of course. Plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac. Piece of cake, right? Hopefully. Over 2a, 2 times 1. Um, okay, so that's going to simplify into negative 8 plus or minus root of 8 squared, 64. Negative 4 times 12, negative 48 all over 2 times 1, which is just 2. And here we're going to get negative 8 plus or minus 64 minus 48, 16, all over 2, which will then simplify into negative 8 plus or minus 4 over 2, because 4 is the root of 16, of course. So now we have two solutions, negative 8 plus 4 over 2, Oops. Plus 4 over 2. As well as negative 8 minus 4 over 2. That looks a little bit messy. Oops. Um, negative 8 plus 4, negative 4, all over 2, negative 2. And over here, negative 8 minus 4, negative 12, over 2, negative 6. That's it. So x is going to be equal to negative 6 or negative 2. Did that make good sense? Hopefully it did. If not, I have more similar videos right here. <laughs> Thanks for watching.